Hello everyone, welcome once again to Career Talk. Today I'm going to talk about a report which got published on the World Economic Forum. According to US Bureau of Labor Statistics, there will be 11.9 million new jobs created between 2020 to 2030, which is at the growth rate of 7.7%. And we are talking about United States here. Because there is going to be a rise in the renewable energy, the wind turbine technicians will have the fastest growth rate. And 9 out of the 20 fastest growing jobs will be in healthcare. 8 out of the 20 fastest declining jobs will be in office and administrative support. So these are some of the findings from this report. And I am going to deep dive into that report and find out what will be the future of IT jobs. But before I do that, I request you to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notifications button on. Now let's go and deep dive into this interesting report. This is the report which I was talking about the 20 fastest growing and declining jobs over the next decade. This is by the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. First, let's understand how to read this report. So if you see on this scale, they have given the percentage increase. So employment change percentage by how many percentage will the employment change in respective jobs over the years. So that is this indication. But then there are various occupational groups which are color coded here. So health related is light blue, computer and mathematical is kind of orange. Production is this color, then office and admin support is blue and yellow is other. So this is the color coding. Okay, and I will start from the bottom. Okay, so if you scroll down here, what do you see here on this right hand side scale is minus 40, minus 30, minus 20, minus 10. So these are the fastest declining jobs. So that's why the percentage is in the negative. And within the category of fastest declining job on the right hand side here, you see nuclear power reactor operator. So these are fastest declining as well as highest paid jobs. Okay, because the scale of payment is here. If you look at this line, from $20,000 to $100,000, $120,000. Nuclear power reactor operators are the highest paid today, but they are fastest declining. Okay, that's how we need to read this report. And then over here, you see all these jobs, okay, which are variety of jobs, for example, tellers, okay, in banks, uh, data entry operators, word processor, typists, uh, parking officers, okay, watch and clock repairers, telephone operators. All these jobs are on the left hand side which means they are low paying jobs but then again these are the jobs which are going to decline fast in future okay so if anybody who is part of this group uh, your job in the next 10 years will most likely go away okay then you also have administrative jobs like executive secretaries admin assistants okay all these jobs are again going to go away uh, so you can read this report i will give you the link but this is how you need to understand now if we scroll up you will see the jobs which are going to grow. Okay, that is our interest area. I have scrolled up now. Now you see here the percentage of growth. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 70, 80. Right. So this is the growth area. And on this side, again, you have jobs which are not high paying. And on the right hand side, you have jobs which are high paying. Right. And let's concentrate and find out what's going to happen for IT people. Right. So if you follow this color, mathematical and computer, you see all these circles here. Right. All these things are IT. Okay. So anything uh, in this orange color here, which is information security analyst, data scientist and mathematical science occupations, statisticians. Okay. Uh, all these things over here, they belong to the growth area, right? So there are going to be around 50%, 40% hike uh, in the number of jobs in these areas, which means more jobs will be created. And also they are on the right hand side, which means there will be high paying jobs. So more than $100,000 in the US. So why we need to know all these things is because Indian economy is anyway very tightly coupled or, you know, very closely related to US economy. So if in US certain things are going to happen, then of course we are going to have an impact on our side as well. So that's why anybody who is a data analyst or, you know, a statistician or if you want to become a data scientist, then it is very clear the number of openings in these areas will continue to grow over the next 10 years. All right. And then if you see here, nurse practitioners, medical and health service managers, physician assistants, you know, these are again the jobs 
which are going to be fastest growing as well as high paying. And if you come here, you see the circle over here, these are computer numerically controlled tool programmers, which means these are the workers who develop programs to control material processing, okay, using automated equipments. So in a nutshell, if you look at it, these are the areas of growth and the areas of decline are over here. So anybody who's into an administrative role or in a role which is candidate for automation, then those jobs will decline. So I hope you guys found this useful. So I'll give you the link in the description, go through it and then probably you will derive more inferences. But if you have any questions, do let me know in comments. I'll be happy to answer. I'll see you in another video soon. Till then, take care. Bye.